Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. And I'm a jumpsuit guy now. All I'm gonna be wearing is this jumpsuit and every video from now on, I'm gonna be basically a Mario brother. <gasps> you see, all the best people wear jumpsuits. We got uh, 21 Pilots. That's all I can think of, really. They're the only, uh, you know, they have the whole j song about jumpsuits, I guess. But the cool part about this is I get my own custom name tag. Robbie. I sewed it on myself. And also, it comes in two colors. I'll be right back. It also comes in all black. I still have to sew the patch on this one, but it matches my hair color. So yeah, guys, I'm just trying to simplify my life. I wear the same thing every day. I mean, I already kind of did, but you know. I feel like overall, a jumpsuit just has so much more utility. Guys, guess what? I also got the intern a jumpsuit. It's a little big, but I mean, it works. I think you look a little bit sus, bro. I like your zips. That was one thing that mine didn't have. Why does it have cool zippers? What the heck? But I did add this cool new belt. Anyway, guys, let's check out these fun life hacks. Okay, guys, so these are some easy school supplies and cheating hacks that you guys are gonna want to know. I don't condone cheating. I'm just gonna put a disclaimer right there. Please don't cheat. Be honest to yourself and be honest to the craft. Anyway, let's begin. So here's how you're gonna make yourself a fun laptop stand. Gonna get some cardboard and cut it into pieces just like this. Put it together just like that. Spray paint that bad boy. And now you have a beautiful organizer laptop holder. I mean, it's a little annoying if you want to get to the things underneath the laptop. Or like if you have crayons in there, the laptop's gonna melt the crayons. But you know what? We're gonna try it. Okay guys, so for this one, I'm gonna need some cardboard. I'm taking you guys to my garage. Oh yes, my garage. This is where I keep all my materials. Just gotta move some things around. Whoa. Yeah, this piece of cardboard ought to do it. Oh wait, there's a bunch of liquid latex on the back. Well that's not gonna work. Now that is much better. So I actually kind of want to get the measurements for this thing exact, but I know for a fact I wouldn't be able to hand make these things. So what I'm gonna do is uh, go ahead and project it onto my wall right here, and then I'll get an exact measurement of how big I need it. Let's see, will this fit my laptop? Oh, actually, that's the perfect size. I think that'll work. I'm just gonna go ahead and tape it to the wall really quick. Taller than expected, but you know, it, it's fine. Um, I'll make it work. It's a lot harder than expected. Now I'm gonna go ahead and trace it. Here we go. Now I just have to cut it out. Okay guys, so my razor blade is actually not cutting very well right now. And that's because the blade is really dull. So I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that. You're actually gonna wanna get yourself a screwdriver. This one kinda takes both. Um, it looks like it would prefer a Phillips, but we're gonna use this flathead instead. Go ahead and take that apart. And now, there's a bunch of new razors inside of it. How fantastic! You can also just flip this razor around. There's some gunk on it. Ooh, that's still sharp. So in this case, I'm just gonna keep using this one, but flip it around. And then just carefully put that right there. Replace the top and the little screw. And now we have ourselves a brand new razor blade. Oh, that's like butter. all of our general pieces, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the little slots. Now I'm gonna attempt to put this thing together. So it actually looks like they had it set up like this first. So we have it set up like this first. I'm gonna actually put all these upside down. That way you don't see, uh, you know, a, a generator in the background or this these gallons of bleach. I don't really know. So apparently they went boop, boop, and then they grabbed these guys. I'm already seeing a problem with this. Very good, very good. And then this one uh, down here, but I definitely made these slots a little too big. And I actually made this completely upside down. I would have actually wanted it like this, now that I'm looking at it. I just derped up so hard. There we go. That looks so much better. No generators here. Then sir, this guy. Oh my. I don't know how they managed to get it to stick together so well because uh, they didn't even use hot glue in the video. It's supposed to just all stick together, but they lifted it from the top. so that 
that makes me think they at least taped it or something. But they didn't show it, so you know that's fine. So overall, guys, I'm just a little nervous to see if this is gonna hold my laptop. Where did I put it? Oh, here we go, my laptop. If you guys wanna watch the video where I customize my laptop, uh, you can go ahead and watch that right here. But in the meantime, uh, let's see if this actually holds my very expensive $1,200 laptop already falling apart before I even put it on. You ready? That, uh, uh, yeah, that wasn't good. Um, just, uh, we can make this work. Oh, God. Oh, no. That was probably important. Uh, we'll try it again. Oh! oh it completely fell apart! Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Do you guys think it's because I didn't paint it? I'm not sure exactly how that would uh, improve the structural integrity of it, but you never know. Here's how to draw the perfect circle. Because you obviously can't do it on your own. The teacher makes it look so easy. But when you do it, it's so hard. What you're going to want to do is grab some scissors, a pencil, and then just tape that bad boy right on there. And now you have yourself a DIY compass. It writes, it cuts. What can't this thing do? Guys, before I start this one, I want to have a little dance montage. Okay guys, so here is my piece of paper. And I'm gonna do my very best to draw a perfect circle. You ready? That's a pretty uh, decent circle, if I do say so myself. I could have probably fixed this edge a little. That's pretty good, actually. I'm really happy with that circle. Now I'm gonna try it with the scissor compass method. So we're gonna have to go far and wide to get some scissors. Exactly uh, one foot. Here we go. Yes, these should do. And then we're gonna open these scissors up and just tape the pencil straight to it. It's a very uh, easy craft. It's a very easy life hack in general. I'm starting to think this isn't as easy as I thought. Oh gosh. And ideally I'd be able to still use my scissors after this. Uh, that would make it the perfect life hack. Uh, I can already see a problem with this. The pencil's moving around a lot. Now we have a scissor compass. Now let's see how perfect of a circle I can make with this. Start right here. Just gonna hold it like uh, right about there. And just gently turn my paper in a circle. It's a pretty darn good circle. The only problem is, now there's a little hole in the paper. I guess by default, I'm gonna have to say that this one works. But can I still use my scissors? <gasps> I can still use my scissors. This is a fantastic life hack, I love it. So you're in class and non-discreetly pull out a candy bar out of your tie. Wait, why are you wearing ties at school? Is this mandatory? I don't know a single person who wore a tie at school. Not a single person in my life. Like, maybe as like a joke, like, oh, look how fancy I am. I guess there was that one time where my teacher made me actually wear a tie. Oh, the video's over. Anyway, you're just so sick of your neighbor's pencils just getting everywhere. Oh, man. This guy looks very disappointed. Well, all you want to do is sacrifice your left sock, specifically the left one. Grab yourself a Pringles can. Put some hot glue on the top of that bad boy, preferably green. I don't know where I'm gonna get green. Put some fuzzies on it, maybe? Cut the top off, and bam! You got yourself a brand new pencil case. This honestly looks like something out of Dr. Seuss. Okay guys, so here's our Pringles can. Just gonna go ahead and put some hot glue on the top. I really hope this doesn't melt the Pringles can. Then we're gonna grab our sock and carefully put it over the Pringles can. Oh. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. This is harder than I thought. Maybe I should have gotten a bigger sock. My goodness. I don't know how they got the sock on so easy, especially with the hot glue. Maybe I should have turned it inside out first. Oh, the lid is way off now. That is... Oh, 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 gosh. Okay, I'll try this again. I'm not sure where I went wrong with this. A little bit of hot glue. I'm really not sure how the heck they made it look so easy. So I'm going to try having it inside out first. Carefully, just, ah, uh, ow, ha. Oh my gosh. Come on, uh, We can do it, Sock. Almost there. I'm like actually breaking a sweat doing this. I think they actually kind of did that on purpose because the hot glue got pulled down here. 
Yeah, that looks uh, pretty solid, actually. So now I gotta go in and uh, cut off some of the excess. Booty boop. I think that I might actually use a little bit of hot glue to hold the bottom on. It didn't say to do it, but you know, you can never be too careful. Okay, now I'm gonna try and uh, release the lid so that I can actually have use of the lid. There we go. Come on. It said simply to cut off the top. Very easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl, you know? It's really having a hard time. It definitely doesn't look like how it did in the video. Let's do a little comparison shot really quick. So uh, this is theirs, and this is mine. You know, it's not quite as clean as theirs, um, but the utility is there. I can still very much uh, hoard all my pencils and miscellaneous things in there. It seems to work as it's intended. I mean, I, I don't think I need to hot glue socks onto this Pringles can, but it works. This one absolutely works. Guys, so here's a fun and easy way to dye your hair. Grab some markers, take out the ink sacs, squeeze the ink sacs so all the ink comes out. Add a little bit of hair conditioner, mix that bad boy up, do multiple colors, it's fun. And just put it right on your hair. This is very similar to the process that I use for my hair, except I don't use markers for uh, the hair dye, I use actual hair dye. And luckily, it looks like I need to touch up my hair, so this is actually the perfect opportunity. Okay guys, so here are our markers. They're ultra clean, washable markers. I had the intern pick these out. In his defense, it did just say markers, so he just kind of picked the first ones I saw. Just gonna go ahead and grab my blue and pink markers. Yeah, these ought to match my hair color. So the first thing I need to do is open these bad boys up. Just gonna go ahead and grab some pliers really quick, and hopefully this should do it. And there it is. Let me get it out. We got it! That's one, and that's two. Well, I don't need these anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the blue first. I simply need to take all the extra dye out. Oh God, I don't know why I chose a black bowl for this. Oh God, oh, that is staining my fingers. It's a good thing these are washable. That's all I have to say. Just really get it all out of there. This is staining my hands so bad. Now we're gonna add some conditioner, just a little bit. There we go. Oh, wow, that is some blue dye. It really didn't produce much dye, unfortunately. But you know, I think it might be enough for me to touch up my hair. And that's all I'm really going for. I'm using a fork right now because, uh, I don't know. I don't know why I'm using a fork. Wow, okay. This is a very nice blue. Nice consistency. Let's try this out in my hair. Okay, so I don't have a hair dyeing brush, but I have a regular paintbrush, and I think it's gonna be good enough. I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair up really quick to the blue side. I'm gonna be really careful and just paint my hair. This is a beautiful blue. If this works, you know, I might do this all the time. Wow. Look how vibrant that blue is. I, I actually really, really spilled some. I'm actually hoping this works because my roots are pretty bad. Let's really get it into my hair. I probably should be wearing gloves for this. Okay, same thing with the pink guys. Okay guys, it actually looks like it turned out more of a purple because I sort of forgot to rinse out the bowl. But it's okay. I'm just gonna have purple roots. I'm going back to my purple roots. Pink hair, purple roots. You know, that's fine. I'm okay with this. I don't even know if this is gonna stay in. I feel like it's not. I'm pretty confident. I'm hoping that doesn't bite me in the foot. I have no faith in this crap. But you know, it, you never know. The good thing about this is I can always just re-bleach it. Also, my roots are usually the first to fade anyway, so I'm not even concerned. Okay, we're looking pretty good. Okay guys, I'm gonna let this sit in my hair for a few hours and then we're gonna wash it out and see how it turns out. I'll see you then. Okay guys, it's been about an hour. It's time to rinse my hair out. Do the blue side first. Whenever you rinse out your hair from dye, you always wanna make sure you use cold water. It's really important, you see. Uh... Okay, so right away, I can already tell that this did not stay in my hair. My roots definitely did not stay blue. The pink wasn't really that faded before, but it definitely doesn't look like it's stuck to the pink either. Dang, that's unfortunate. I really didn't want to actually have to do my roots. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. So you borrow your neighbor's lipstick, and then you're like, hey, can I go to the bathroom? Uh, and you're gonna go ahead and put it on your eyes to make it look like you're sick. Just really blend it in there and make it look like you just got red under your eyes and a red puffy nose. Maybe grab yourself a wet rag and heat up your forehead. Oh my gosh, this boy looks so sick. And I don't mean that in the, oh my god, this guy's sick. More like a, <coughs> I'm sick kind of a way, you know what I mean? And that's how you get yourself out of school. Again, I really don't recommend you try this one, but that's just me. Do what you will, I guess. But for the sake of the video, I think that we should try this one ourselves. <sighs> okay guys, so it's pretty early in the morning. It's like 7.30 in the morning right now. I start filming pretty early, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it look like I'm sick. Yeah, just really, oh yes, get that in there. Oh wow, this lipstick smells like chocolate. <laughs> 
It definitely didn't taste like chocolate though. I think I might have put it a little too thick. Oh no. Just blend it in more guys. Get a little bit on my nose. Yeah? Yeah? Anyone like that? What do you guys think? Oh my god. <laughs> I look like Penelope from Wreck-It Ralph. Oh my goodness, I got a little rosy cheek thing going on, don't I? Okay guys, let's go try this out. <laughs> oh, good morning guys, how's it going? Good, good morning. Are you okay? I, I'm not feeling very good today guys. I'm feeling really sick. So dramatic. Uh, Bench, even Bench knows I'm sick, see? Is he okay, buddy? Guys, I'm so sick. Why do you look like you got punched in the face? Because I'm sick. Do you need to go to the doctor? No, I, it's not, doctor? it's, I, it's yeah. not that deep. Yeah. It's not that deep, guys. No, no guys, it's not that deep. Oh, it's not that deep. Oh, Stop. Very sick. No. Go to the doctor. Oh! No, it's fake. I faked it. I'm not actually sick. This is lipstick on my eyes. You guys have been praying. You're not sick? Well, I wasn't sick the entire time. Well, I'm so surprised. You always look sick. I didn't know there's a difference. Like, I always look <laughs> sick? No, you, you just look gross. You guys are mean. You look very blessy. I'm gonna leave. No, don't leave. I'll see you later. Okay, goodbye. Bye, then. guys. I'm going into the light. Whoa! <gasps> oh, you guys locked me out! Let me back in! Are you feeling better? Yes. Cut. Please let me in. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. You guys totally thought I was sick. You've been pranked. You've been pranked. Even though this is actually to get me out of going to school, but I don't go to school. I just make crafts. You guys tired of putting up with these gross, greasy paper bags? Oh. Man, it's just everywhere. Well, what you're gonna wanna do is grab yourself another paper bag and cover it in duct tape. Maybe put a cute kitty design on it or something. I don't know, I don't wanna tell you how to live your life. And boom, you got yourself a waterproof lunch bag. I feel like the inside would still be paper though, so it might still get a little bit soggy. Well, let's make ourselves a lunch bag. Hey everyone, are you ready for this? <laughs> let's do this. Here's our lunch bag. I mean, um, let's rip this off. It's actually a gift bag. They ran out of lunch bags at the store. Apparently no one uses paper lunch bags anymore, I guess. Now, here we have our perfectly normal lunch bag. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab some cool tape, and then we just start putting it all over our bag. One side is done. That looks pretty, uh, pretty cool, actually. Now, I gotta do the other side. Let me go ahead and do that really quick. Oh, there we go. Looks pretty good. I didn't want to do the inside because that just seemed like kind of a pain in the butt. Plus, they didn't really say that they did the inside in the video. Eight hours later. Okay, guys, so now that our decorative reusable paper bag is done, I kind of want to do a little stress test and compare it to a normal paper bag. So right here, I have some pork roast from about two weeks ago. I ate most of it, but you know, there's just uh, some left. So we're just gonna go ahead and put some inside of our bags. Oh god, it got on me. Oh god, oh god. Oh, okay, next one. Okay. I'm really glad that the intern has to clean this up, but not me. Okay guys, we got it successfully in our bags. I'm just gonna go ahead and clamp these bad boys up. And also to truly stress test these, I'm also gonna put some creamy chicken and dumpling soup. Oh yes. Oh, that's disgusting. Half in each. Looks pretty good. Okay, uh... Yeah, now I'll do it. Go ahead and close these up really good. And now I'm gonna go ahead and leave them overnight and see how they hold up. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay guys, so it's the next day. And this is how they are looking. Our regular paper bag is pretty soggy at the bottom. And we got a couple little drippy drips down here, but it still seems to be Ugh, it's kind of holding up. It's about to pop, <laughs> about to break open. And this one, you know, it's still holding up really good. Like, it's not even leaking. Oh, wait, yeah, it leaked a little bit. Even this one leaked. And I don't know if I would say that this is actually reusable. I wouldn't reuse this personally. So, overall, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this, I mean, depending on what you use it for, actually kind of works. As like a regular lunch bag, not putting, you know, chicken noodle soup inside of it, I think it would probably work fine. But, you know, if you're just straight up putting your leftovers in it. It's probably not gonna hold up very well. So yeah, kinda works. This one we're gonna need a makeup sponge, a little bit of polymer clay, and just put the top right back on. And now you got yourself some cute macaroon earrings. I didn't think about this one. I don't have my ears pierced. I'm sure I'll think of something. Let's go make ourselves some macaroon earrings. Okay guys, so here's my gently used beauty blender. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this bad boy right down this line. I think the goal is to still make it look kinda flat. Ugh, I mean, 
I did my best. Wow, <laughs> look at the difference between this. This is what it theoretically looked like originally. This is what it looks like now. That's pretty gross. This was a very used beauty blender. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut the top off of this one a little bit. Maybe I can just make it look like a little macaroon. But this doesn't look correct to me. So I feel like I'd need another beauty blender of the same color and then put them together like that. I'll just make it flat like this. And then we grab some polymer clay. Theirs was in like a weird tube. I don't know where the heck I would find that. I'm guessing that this yellow clay from Michael should be fine though. Guys, down in the comments down below, I'm really curious to know, do you guys watch these videos for me actually doing the life hacks? Do you guys want to find out if they work? Or do you guys watch these just purely for your own entertainment and you're just waiting for me to get hurt? I'm genuinely curious. I'm just gonna squeeze all this polymer clay on here. I didn't have any white, but I did have this yellow. I mean, I've seen macaroons with yellow filling before. That's a thing, right? I don't know. Squish that together. Uh, I really don't know how I feel about this macaroon. And I don't really foresee it actually sticking together, but I'm gonna go ahead and oh gosh, let me go ahead and let it dry for a little bit and maybe it'll stick together better. Just gonna stick in a little wire for the earring part and there we go. It's almost like a little Christmas ornament. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna let this sit and dry for a little bit. Oh gosh, that really doesn't like to stick together. What a yummy looking macaroon. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a few hours. One eternity later. Okay guys, so it's been about five hours. Here's our little macaroon. Personally, I think it didn't hold together very well. The clay is very much still malleable. The only way to solidify it is to put it in the oven and I'm kind of scared it's gonna melt my beauty blender. So I guess that's not gonna work. It just really falls off. Anyway, I don't have any pierced ears, but I do have a pierced lip. So maybe I could hang it from my lip. Let's see. Oh yes, there we go. Bend that over. There we go, yes. A macaroon lip. What do you guys think? It's the newest in fa- oh. Gosh. Oh, my macaroon! It's the newest in fashion. Hang a macaroon from your lip piercing. There you go. Wow! This is amazing! I've never seen a lip ring like that before. I need to show the intern. Oh, hey, intern. Check out my new lip ring. It looks like a Christmas ornament. It's really good, and it's really convenient. Oh, God. Oh. That's gross. I don't want to touch it. Anyway, uh, that's my macaroon uh, lip ring. It's the newest, highest in fashion intern. I really blended in this couch. <laughs> Maybe the jumpsuits and the red couch weren't a good idea. I walked in here and I haven't been able to see him a couple times, so. So is that a real macaroon? Yeah, you wanna try it? Sure. Uh, yeah. Is that the beauty blender and clay? Are you checking my teeth? You've been pranked. This isn't a prank video, I just wanna try it. Anyway guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one uh, doesn't really work. Oh, I still have the wire stuck on my lip. Uh, uh. Okay, let's do the next one. I'm not exactly sure what this contraption is that she made. I guess if you need something, uh, you're good forever. For this life hack, we're gonna want to put a stapler on the wall. Okay. <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. It's time for me to never lose my stapler again. I lose it in that drawer all the time. We can grab our hot glue gun. Now I just grab my stapler and just put on a bunch of hot glue. Perfect. Now I just stick this bad boy to the wall. It's looking pretty solid, pretty on there. And then if I ever need to change the staples. Oh gosh. Let's try and staple some things together really quick. Oh, oh man, I really gotta staple my blue and yellow sheets together. Really important here. Uh, just put that in there. Here we go, give it a good old whack -a rooney Oh, that kind of worked. Uh, we'll try it again. I mean, my stapler is in fact broken because I hit it too hard, uh, but overall, I think the idea actually works. Okay guys, here's a fun way to uh, share snacks with your desk roommate person. I guess neighbor it would be? What you're gonna wanna do is get your bag of chips and a pencil, stab it right through that bad boy, and just hang it between your desk. And boom, you got a hidden snack compartment for you and your best mates to share. It's a perfect plan! It's a perfect way to sneak food into class. But does it actually work? Guess we're gonna have to find out, aren't we? Okay guys, did you guys know that they make a chip version of the Doritos Locos Tacos? I had no idea. The Doritos Nacho Cheese flavored chips look absolutely delicious. Wow, so they're basically like the shell, but cut into little square shapes. Please ignore the giant glowing ball behind me. I wasn't expecting you guys to see this part. It's delicious. But this bag is kind of useless. It doesn't just hover between two desks. Here, watch, I'll show you. Here are our two desks. What? 
I am so incredibly saddened about this. I don't know why this would have happened. I'm really sorry, Doritos Locos Chips. You won't die in vain. <laughs> There's a lot of dog hair on the floor. Gross. So now we're gonna try five minute crabs. Easy solution. Just go ahead and stab the pencil through the bag on both sides. Pop, pop. Now it's completely, it ripped the bag. <laughs> My chips are getting so broken right now. I'll try it again with another hole, and then here's another one. Okay, looking good. Now we're gonna put it between our desk. I'm gonna try moving them a little closer. Oh no! Oh, the fire extinguisher. Okay guys, so we're between our two desks, maybe a little bit closer. It's perfect! Now I'm gonna retrieve a chip. And the bag broke again. Well guys, I guess I'm just gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Which is really unfortunate because I was just so excited to share chips with my neighbor. Maybe it would be a better idea if I just uh, went next door and asked him. Anyway guys, it doesn't work. Guys, are you tired of just losing all your caps, your highlighters? And you just always forget where they are and you just lose them? So here's what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna wanna get some hot glue, a ribbon, hot glue that ribbon to the cap, and also hot glue to the bottom of your pen. Now, they'll never be separated again. They're stuck together forever, okay? So for this one, guys, I'm gonna need a Sharpie. Boobity boo! Here's our ribbon. Gonna go and grab ourselves some scissors here. There we go. These ought to do. Our boobity boo! Well, don't need this anymore. Grab ourselves a little hot glue and just really stick our ribbon on there. Try not to burn yourself on the extremely hot, hot glue. Because, you know, you're not me. You can't be burning yourself. What do you think you are, a live Robbie video? Go ahead and stick our ribbon on the hot glue. Go ahead and let it cool down for a second. Oh yes, look at this perfect specimen of a life hack. But does it actually work? Oh hey intern, how's it going there buddy? Are you just doing your tasks? Yeah. Well, uh, 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 that's great. Uh, I just need to highlight something for you. Okay. And it's no. <laughs> Robbie, come on. <laughs> You've been pranked! Uh, this isn't supposed to be a prank video today. <laughs> you guys weren't expecting that, were ya? <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't lose the cap this time! Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. Guys, here's an easy way to avoid this. Just getting hit with all the things in your locker. Just uh, grab a little bag and a magnet and just put it inside your bag. And boom, it should stick straight to your locker. You can hold books and pens and I don't know if it'll hold all that. I feel like that's really stretching it. So unfortunately, I don't have a locker here, but uh, I do have this metal toolbox, so I think that'll have to do. So here's my toolbox and here's my bag. And obviously, it doesn't stick to the toolbox by itself. So we're gonna go ahead and add this magnet. Just put this magnet right inside of the bag and then stick it right on there. Wow, it's actually sticking. Let's see, what'll this hold? Can it hold a tripod? No, it cannot. Guys, I actually can't find my magnet anywhere. It's not in the bag. Where the heck could it be? A magnet? Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one just doesn't work. So you're at the library and you know, you're just picking up your books for your classes. And you're like, oh, one book, easy. Two books, three books, four, five. Why is Moby Dick in there? You just have so many books and this librarian's like, huh, hey, I have to carry all these heavy things. She's like, I don't have a bag big enough. So what you're gonna wanna do, take off your jacket, preferably your friends, by the way, and then get a little rubber band, attach them together. I don't think a rubber band's gonna work for this, dude. <laughs> just being real here, I don't think a rubber band's gonna do it. And then uh, tie your hoodie, just like that. Flip that bad boy over. Just go ahead and shove all your books in there. And now you have a cool, stylish backpack. I guess we could uh, call that stylish. Um, okay. I don't think the rubber band's gonna work, but I'll, I'm willing to try, okay? Okay, guys, so here's our hoodie. I no longer wear hoodies. I'm exclusively a jumpsuit guy now. I really don't have any use for this hoodie anyway. Uh, plus, I live in Las Vegas where it's 120 degrees. So, you know, let's go ahead and uh, tie up the string. Nice and tight so nothing can get out of the head hole. And apparently for this one, we just stick our arms through the little pocket and then we use a single rubber band to try and hold it together. I really hope this rubber band keeps it together better than I hold together my life. There we go, just put that back in the pocket. Let's try the old tripod test. But instead of a tiny one, we're gonna use a large tripod. Because in the real world, I feel like I would shove this tripod in my backpack probably, and it would probably be fine. So here we go, just shove this in here. Very nice, very nice. Now I'm gonna wear it as a backpack. The tripod hit my back. Now I'm gonna go ahead and jump around a little bit. 
Wow, this is actually holding together surprisingly well. Like, I didn't think the rubber band would hold on this long. I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. I would have just tied the arms together, but a rubber band, I've never seen that one before. Fantastic five minute crafts. But will it survive this? Absolutely not. So I guess it's not Robbie proof. So for this one, we're gonna want some black cardstock or a black canvas, if you will. Get some white paint and then make these shapes. A bunch of ambiguous shapes. Maybe it's a watermelon. I don't know. Could it be a watermelon? Maybe. Then you're gonna wanna grab yourself an airbrush. Luckily I have one of those. Bring it all in just like this. Oh wow, these look really cool. Look how bright neon these look. This is amazing, honestly. And now you have some beautiful glowing art. It just glows and emits life wherever it is. And I can't wait to own something just like this in my home. So I guess it's time for me to make a piece of art. Okay guys, so for the craft, they used a little canvas like this. <laughs> but that's not how we do things around here. We go big. This thing's almost as big as I am. And the first step is to paint it completely black. Mix, mix, mix. 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 This is actually the same paint that I used for Tori's coffin table that I made her. If you guys wanna watch that video, you can click right over here. Also, you guys should give this video a big ol' thumbs up because, you know, this canvas was like $50. Art is truly expensive. And that is exactly why I'm selling this masterpiece for $5 million. Yeah, that ought to do it. 12 seconds later. Okay, guys. So now that this is all painted and dried, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a mushroom. They did a watermelon, but I thought that a giant mushroom would just be so much cuter. So just envision this mushroom onto this canvas, this fresh, pristine black canvas. I'm gonna use this pencil to hopefully make the shape I want. Wish me luck, guys. So now that I have the general outline of my mushroom, I need to go in and paint the outlines white. So now it's time for us to get painting. So I didn't really like how the airbrush was turning out, so I actually ended up using actual spray paint for this. Fun fact, this is the same color that I used for the Craftmas tree. I thought a green stem would really go along well with this. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm gonna go in and sort of put the white outline around everything. Okay guys, and it's finished. What do you guys think? Is this a work of art? I feel like I could have probably done better. I mean, it looks kind of cool, I guess. I kind of want to add a little bit more color. Maybe some purple. I feel like purple would look really cool. Let's see, do I have any purple? Oh, yes, purple. I think, or maybe we should go with a blue? Hmm, Ooh, that's a nice blue. Ooh, that's also a nice purple. Maybe a little bit of purple and blue? Oh, I messed up. I mean, it looks cool, but I'm gonna have to redo a lot of the outlining. <laughs> Six and a half hours later. Oh my god. So this is how it turned out. Personally, I think it turned out really cool. The main thing I would change though is I would probably use all spray paint for this. I kinda wanna make another one in the future, so I know how to make it better next time. But overall, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. And it looks awesome. Okay, guys, it's time to hang it up. Oh, here we go. That's kind of cool. The masks go over it. You know, it's a little cluttered, but I think it looks freaking awesome. What do you guys think? Good addition to the craft corner? I think so. Let's do it!